welcome back to the show. Thanks uh, for having me again. I love having you on the show. I love having you. I uh, want to talk about your projects. Uh, I also think it's funny, every time you come on with the Queer Eye uh, group, with yeah. the cast, it's so fun because everyone thinks that you guys just kind of live together. It's like seven or eight seasons in, and people still think that we live in this loft together. Yes. It, sho it really no, boggles they, my mind. No, it's like, real. It's real. People go like, oh, that's normal. Yeah. It's guys... a little concerning, frankly. I don't know. But like, we were even at, you know, we were flying from, um, actually to the Emmys from uh, New Orleans when we were, where we were filming our, our latest season. And someone stopped us in the airport. And this thing that they do, they're like, are you guys actually doing an episode right now? And they look around to see if they're like actual cameras. And it's like, yeah. like we're in an airport. Like we're all wearing sweatpants. Yeah, no, they're like, oh wait, are you surprising me? Yeah, exactly. With the makeover? Let's go! It's so bizarre. <laughs> By the way, you probably uh, came back from the Emmys with an Emmy because you won another Emmy. Yeah. Since I saw you. Congratulations. Uh, I want to talk uh, Halloween because you and your partner, Kevin, have some uh, uh, awesome uh, Halloween costumes. And here's one uh, from one year. You go all out. This one, you were a blockbuster, Back from the Dead. Okay. Uh, so... I have to fully give credit. He's sitting somewhere here. Um, Kevin. Fully credit to Kev. Kev is beyond, he has like a deep pathological obsession with Halloween. October 1st, I start getting texts during his work breaks, not while he's working. Um, <laughs> um, where he starts, he starts like trying to like figure out what we're gonna wear. We have a few that we're kind of like shortlisting and then we have uh, another one. So one of them, we're both obsessed as kids with Calvin and Hobbes. Oh yeah, and he's six three, so he could be Hobbs and I could be Calvin. Okay. So that was one. I like that. Um, another one was the Tethers from Us, for Jordan Peele. Yes. What were creepy and kind of like scary yeah, with the yeah, faces yeah, the and everything? Okay, yes. Okay, good. Another one was Bert and Ernie, but I feel like that's kind of been done. Like, are they roommates? <laughs> um, and. Are they roommates? There's one that I think we're gonna go for, but can I whisper it in your ear? Because we don't want to share it with everybody because we want it to be like a surprise. Quest, can you just play, give us a, some music here? Okay. okay. Yeah, that, yeah, that's Is good, that yeah. it? Yeah, that's it, but you're Kev, we have a winner. Are we gonna get a lot of hate? Yes, you'll be in a lot of trouble, but it's very funny. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, but I, I was doing a little research on you. I found out that you were in a band called The Silver Spoons. When was this? And talk to me about it. Okay. And I wish I had, look, your <laughs> face is getting red right now just thinking about it. So the band lasted maybe about one semester in college. Mm. And we were so horrible. Like we were basically, we were obsessed with the Strokes and Jet and Block Party and oh, Black yeah. Rebel Motorcycle Club and Richard Ashcroft and Oasis. So we like, we oh. wanted to just be them. We had the long greasy hair that we never washed. Yes. The ripped jeans and the cowboy boots. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And Silver Spoons? Silver Spoons. Silver Spoons. Because we were born with like a silver ah. It's boy, it's so cringe. We know never it? played a single show. I go, do you have any lyrics or anything? And you found some lyrics. Okay. Is this so, gonna... I literally went, I have this journal um, that my sister got me that I've literally had since, since before May 20th, 2004, mm. um, where I would just write about my existential angst and trying to figure out my life. And I wrote a song that I thought was so clever at the time, and it's called Jackie. Ooh. And it was like, am I writing about a girl or a bottle of Jack Daniels? I even drew a bottle of Jack on the side. Like, it's so, <laughs> it's so cringe. Jackie, can I just hear a couple lyrics? Yeah. Hey, Jackie, I see you up behind the bar. Don't hide, because I can see exactly where you are. Like, that sounds predatory. <laughs> Come to me, don't run, because you won't get very far. Okay, that's... <laughs> That didn't age well. Yeah, yeah, so it's about Jack Daniels, but it could be about Jackie. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Thank this you is for my gift to you. Thank you for doing that. I will never show anyone the full lyrics, but this is awesome. Oh. You trust me this much. Let's talk about your uh, new hit show, Easy yes. Bake Battle. Uh, it's loosely based. Things that I'm not embarrassed about. On yeah. the Easy Bake Oven. Yes. Loosely based on, I think it's brilliant, and uh, it, the show features a lot of hacks, which I'm into. Uh, as, a, as someone who cooks, do you know a lot of hacks that you want to share with the world? Or? I feel like there are so many hacks that I use that you know chefs use traditionally that I notice that home cooks are using now on TikTok that are coming up. Like we had 
um, peeling ginger with a spoon to remove the skin instead of cutting it off so you like lose too much of the flesh. I didn't know that. You can microwave a potato and make amazing mashed potatoes, which I had no idea about. Really? I don't know about that either. Right? No. If you burn yourself, my father taught me this, he's a physician. I think it's a fact. Let's just go with it. Dads, when are dads wrong? Um, if you burn yourself, the coldest part of your body is actually your earlobe because there's the least amount of circulation so you can cool yourself off because you often burn yourself if you touch something with your index finger. So you can cool yourself off with your earlobe. Really? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. This is the hacks we want. I want to show everyone a clip. This is Easy Bake Battle. Take a look. All you need is sushi rice, a little bowl of water, a selection of literally whatever you want, ice cube tray with saran wrap. You get it already. I'm done. Oh. I've never thought of this. And a little scoop as well. Just put in whatever elements you want into the bottom. So then this scoop gives you the perfect amount of rice. And then what I do is just wet my fingers because you don't want those little grains to stick. Totally. And then just press it in. And the best thing about this, it's literally ready. Cute. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> Come on, instant sushi, come on. Isn't that cute? Yes, I love yeah. that. Anthony Porosky, Easy Bake Battle is streaming on Netflix right now. Hey, hey.